All right, coach, a big gutsy 11 point double overtime victory. Just kind of talk about that game. Yeah, I'm, I'm so proud of my guys, this team, our coaching staff, these players. And they wouldn't give up. They had a don't say die, uh, never say die attitude, and they were resilient. And uh, they just came together when they needed to in the, in the crunch time. Last two minutes of the game, we got down at one point in time, 10. We just kept digging and fighting back, and one punch, another punch, getting stops. and. Uh, that's what it's about, and that's the kind of team that I like to coach. Yeah, it seemed like they would go on a run, you'd fight back. They go on a run, you'd fight back, or they'd find an answer. But you never gave up, and you kept fighting to force the overtime, and then let alone double. Definitely, and I'll tell you what, Alex, this, this crowd was big time tonight. Everybody was yelling, and they gave us that six-man edge, uh, you know, with their enthusiasm and helping us out. And our guys got a little winded, but they got their adrenaline going, and we pulled it out. What does it take when your team shoots 40% but you got to attack the rim and the way you were rebounding won the battle of the boards by two and I think that was big tonight. It was and that's what we like to do. We, we When we're playing our best, rebounding is part of it. Defensively getting holding the other team to one stop and getting offensive rebounds. And when you have a back and forth game like that, generally the person who wins the, wins the, the glass is going to win. In particular tonight, the offensive glass. I don't know what we did on the offensive glass, but every extra possession that you can get is so, so vital. Four players in double figures, but Jacoby Mobley, your senior, just kept knocking down big shot after big shot, 28 points tonight. It's what he does. That's what he does. He's not afraid of the big shot. He wants the ball at the end of the game, and he's been huge, and he's finally getting himself back to being 100% healthy, and it shows in his play. You got a big game Saturday. What do you tell the fans as a precursor from what happened this Thursday night? Well, I just encourage them to come out and see a very good basketball game, support the men and the women, and uh, we're out here playing for them. and. We're going to get everyone's best shot in SIUE. I don't know what happened tonight, but they're going to come in and they're going. To, we're going to see their best game. They're well coached too. Okay, thanks, coach. Thanks.